Hey, welcome to Sophisticated Morons, where we know enough to think we're right, but not enough to know we're wrong. Alright, anyway, so... in the comedy right so we started September of 2019 um, at uh, Jade's comedy uh, Jade's bar and grill in uh, 440 Plaza in Colleen Texas right so first mic I'm walking in there bombed so bad like one person caught the premise and like giggled like, knew where I was going with it, and it was like, you're a f fucking sicko, right? <clears throat> anyway, second mic, twice as funny comedy lounge. I meet all these comics, and then I started asking questions like, hey, what do we do, man? Like, uh, how do you, how do you do this comedy thing? And, um, they were like, uh... Man, you, you just hit open mics, man. You, you hit open mics. Really? Like, to get to, like, telling jokes in front of, like, a lot of people, you just hit open mics, and they're like, yeah, you know, just get up there. Hit as many mics as you can. So I started looking for mics, and I was like, hey, man, uh, is there a, where's, the, where's the next mic? And it was like, not until the next time we're at Jade's or whatever. So anyway, a couple months go by, I'm like, man, you know what, like, oh, shout out to uh, Jason Ball, like, he said, like, hey, you gotta go watch, the, you gotta watch this, um, this movie, it's called, uh, I Need You to Kill, it's about the Acme Comedy Club, I think, I'm butchering that, whatever, but, but then I realized, it was like, it was a very simple question, you go to a club, or bar or whatever you ask them like what's your debt day like what day um or like you have the least money coming in and then you propose i'll hate i'll bring x amount of comics give me a two-hour block and start there right like sure cool right so i talked to somebody who i thought was a decision decision maker at a club and um, they said, like, sure, like, come on in at this time, right? So I show up over there on a Friday night, you know, we got everything set up. We get the mic and all this. And I find out as I'm sitting in there, like, it's a packed room, by the way. And I find out that everybody's here because it's karaoke night. And that's always been their karaoke night. And now they're saying, like, hey. You know, you got some comics over here. Man. Bomb? Bomb is... Bomb is like an understatement. I'm talking like you take Hiroshima, Nagasaki, you know, and all the Pacific hydrogen bombs. If you don't know anything about this, go Google them. You know, the Marshall Islands combine all those. That's what that felt like. Like, I literally just stood there, held the mic stand, and looked at Jason Ball and went, this is how it's going to be, bro. Like, this is it. And I literally had a smile on my face. And he's like, yeah, there you go. There's your first mic, Max. I'm like, fuck me. So I literally just talked to, like, one guy and, like, talked to the comics. Jason called some lady a sir. Got corrected. He apologized. Everybody moved on with their life. Till this day, he's convinced it really was a sir, not a ma'am, in a fucking striped collar shirt tucked in with a fucking bus cut. Like, fucking Jesus. What the hell? Anyway, man. Fast forward. It's a year after I started comedy. After my first open mic. And... I think... Two, 
three, four, like seven shows, seven actual shows that I was booked on and like that I was strictly comedy, strictly comedy, not speaking gigs, strictly comedy. And I can't, I can say, I can say honestly, it's, it's been the best time I've had, um, uh, it's a fucking roller coaster of a ride, man. Like, it's a grind, right? But the craziest thing I've heard is if you just do it, like it's like it doesn't stop. Like it's this. The only reason you'd stop. It's an infinite game. I I I, I don't know if anybody here, okay, is familiar. I know I'm just regurgitating stuff and shit, but like. Um, Simon Sinek, if you don't know who he is, man, literally look him up. He explains it very easily. But game theory, right? It's two types of game, finite game and infinite game. Finite games have, you know, strict rules, finite amount of players, finite time period, and this is the end result. At the end of that time period, the game's over. Infinite game, the only way to lose the game is literally to either you run out of resources or you stop playing the game. In other words, like you just got, you got to keep evolving, keep looking for resources, whatever, like and then just keep going and playing this game. And I just I'm like, wait, what the fuck? Like. It's almost like it doesn't get easier. We just get stronger type shit. Whatever cliche bullshit you can fucking think about. Like all that. The reason they're cliches because they're true. But um, anyway. It's been a year. It's been amazing. Um, man. Appreciate it. I appreciate everyone. Uh, I love. I'm not going to edit this video. I'm just going to post it as is. I love all the support. I love the the fact that the people that come up, even the people that come up and say we don't like what you do, or you're a little too harsh, right? That gives me an idea on what I can do to make the information I'm trying to put out to the world more palatable, palatable, more digestible. You know, spoonful of sugar, laughter helps the medicine go down. The knowledge. Oh, God. Anyway, I'm fucking done. All right. Hey, my name is Max. I love y'all.